NBC2 can now confirm relatives of the man you just heard Cape Coral Police calling to come out owns the property and the home where someone was killed two miles away. Neighbors discovered a dead person on Northwest 25th Place. Hours later, SWAT showed up to a home along Northwest 13th Place calling for that man to come out. Tonight, NBC2's Kennedy Mason is in the Cape with new information on the investigation. The dive team searched this canal by Northwest 26th Avenue. They were cutting and throwing branches. This is just one street over from where someone died last night. Cape Coral Police said this afternoon they are not looking for the shooter after a person was found dead in the grass on Northwest 25th Place. You could hear the gunshots around 10 p.m. Police have not said who died since they are still notifying family. Neighbor Andy Petronivic has lived one block over for seven years. And it's really quiet, uh, family oriented. Uh, never had anything like this happen in, in our, I mean, since we moved here. We were always, I mean, surprised that this happened, but hopefully it doesn't happen again. In just five minutes down the road on Northwest 13th Place, the SWAT team showed up to a home around 5 a.m. Property records show relatives of the man police told to come out own that home and the one at the scene of the deadly shooting. Cheryl Rivett lives near Northwest 13th Place. I was afraid because I didn't even know about the shooting last night. So my husband jumped on the computer to see what this was about. And he's like, there was a shooting on 25th place. I'm like, okay, what's going on? And now they're over here. We saw police remove bags, boxes, and two dogs from that scene. The forensics teams took pictures of the home and car in the driveway. We asked CCPD if the scene on Northwest 25th Place and Northwest 13th Place are connected. They have not said. Police told us they could release new information tomorrow. In Northwest Cape Coral, Kennedy Mason, NBC2.